Veterinarians in Elizabeth City have a warning for you about a deadly cat virus. Already it has claimed the lives of more than 50 cats at the SPCA of Northeastern North Carolina. Pending your sides, Maria Elena Boloris joins us now with how to protect your pets. Maria Elena. Well, Tom, we spoke with both a local vet and officials at the SPCA, and they say it all comes down to vaccinating your pets. If the cats that had gone into the SPCA had been vaccinated, we wouldn't be talking about the death of 50 animals. It started in early July when a kitten unexpectedly died. The kittens are just very fragile to begin with health-wise, and so they're much more susceptible to it. An outbreak of panleukopenia tore through the SPCA of Northeastern North Carolina over the last two months. It's a virus only in cats that attacks the GI system. Immediately we started our quarantining and, you know, making sure all of our cleaning protocols were up to date. The SPCA vaccinates every animal that comes in, but in the case of these kittens, they were too small to get the vaccines. The Pasquotank Animal Hospital is one of the places that helped the SPCA diagnose and attempt to treat the virus. Dr. Lee Regler says in her four years of working here, this summer is the first time she has ever seen traces of the virus. Kittens normally, you, you can't even catch it, which is unfortunate. She says it's especially easy for the virus to move through a shelter because it's spread through feces, urine, even water bowls, and normal cleaning agents won't kill it. You don't know when the disease started, who first brought it in, and which cat's been exposed, and which cat can transfer the disease to another cat. Now, the SPCA says the virus is under control. They just hope people will take this as a lesson and remember to vaccinate their pets. Our shelter is all about giving every animal a chance here. And so it just breaks our hearts to see, you know, these little kittens um, having to deal with something like this. Vets say if your pet is vaccinated, it should be immune to the disease. To more, for more information on the virus and ways you can treat it, you can visit wavy.com. In Elizabeth City, I'm Marielana Belores, 10 on your side.